Hey YouTube, this is Jennifer or Shrinking Jen and I am coming to you with my 31 week post-op vertical sleeve gastrectomy update. Today is August 28th, 2013 and on the 23rd of this month that made 7 months post-op for me. So I'm going to include both updates in the same video like I usually do. I want to apologize in advance for any noise that my children might make because they have been pretty loud and I've been having to do this video over a few times. So hopefully they won't be very loud this time and I can um, finish this video. Um, uh, my highest weight at, well in one video I think it, I said it was 280 but I don't have that number written anywhere. I think maybe I was just estimating. I don't know. But um, my highest weight that I know of was 274. And um, last month at my six month video, it, my weight was 169.8. Last week it was 156.5. And today my weight is 154 on the dot. I am five feet tall. I don't know if I mentioned that yet because I said it a lot and made this video so many times. But I'm five feet tall. Um, since last week I have lost 2.5 pounds. Since my last video three weeks ago I have lost 11.6 pounds. And since my last month's video I have um, lost 15.8 pounds. And altogether, since the beginning, I have lost 120 pounds. And I'm very proud of that and happy. Um, I only have to lose one more pound to be considered overweight and not obese. Um, and I need to lose 26 more pounds to be considered normal weight. And 29 more pounds and I'll be at goal, baby. I'm so excited. I can't believe it. It seems unreal that I'm saying that. That I only have 29 more pounds to my go goal. Goal. <laughs> I'm not doing this video over. Um, my surgeon's goal for me was like 165 or something like that. And I don't know if he was taking my height into consideration when he set that goal for me. Because that was still morbidly obese. So, um... I'm going to keep on going until I get to my goal weight. And if I'm still not happy, I'm going to keep on losing if I can. Because there's a big... Um, 128 is the highest uh, weight that's considered normal for me. 95 is the lowest weight that's considered normal for me. Now that doesn't mean that I'm going to try to get to 95 pounds. But I'm just saying that... When I reach 125, which is my goal, I still have a lot of, um, you know, I could lose more. And I may to have a cushion, you know. It depends because my weight loss might slow down. I hope it doesn't. I hope I keep going. I thought my weight had slowed down this month, but actually um, I've lost 15.8 pounds this month. Last month I lost 14.4 or something like that something like that and um, so actually I lost more weight this month than I did last month but it seemed to me like it slowed down because I had a couple weeks that I only lost like one pound or something but anyway um, I started out this journey at um, wearing 24 26 jeans and they were tight 3x shirts that were tight and now I can wear 13s or 14s in jeans, depending on how they're made and who they're made by. And a medium or large shirt, depending on the same thing. Um, so that's pretty, pretty cool. Um, before I talk about my measurements, I want to talk about water. Um, this water has a flavor packet in it. It's Jolly Ranchers Watermelon. And I saw Gastric Rose and somebody else that I know Rosemary was um, talking about it. Hey, Mama Rose, I love you. Um, but this stuff is good. It's really good. Um, I found it at the Dollar General store. It's the only place I have been able to find it. 
So if you have a Dollar General store in your area, check it out and see if you like this because it's very yummy. Um, my husband even likes it and he doesn't do flavor packets because they have artificial sweeteners in them. But he's been drinking this and I kind of wish he wouldn't because, you know, it's less for me. But this is my favorite right now. Before that, it was Orange Crush. And I'm kind of tired of that now. And before that, it was Lemonade. And I'm tired of that now. But I put the flavor packet in it and I stick it in the freezer until it gets slushy. And then I drink it. It's really good. So I just wanted to let you know that. In case if you're having any trouble getting your water in. Um, I recommend that flavor packets they're not you know it's not gonna hurt you I don't think anyway there we go um now for my measurements I'm not gonna go through every measurement because that takes a long time but um I'll probably go over a couple of them since last month I have lost 10 and three quarters of an inch overall and since the very beginning I have lost 84 and a quarter inches over all my body. I can't really believe it. <laughs> um, the, per the place that I have lost the most is my hips. And I have lost 19 inches from my hips. 19 inches. And the next place is my waist. I've lost 13 inches from my waist. I have lost 12 inches from each thigh. 12 inches, that's a foot from each thigh. Oh my God. I just now realized that. I, I just now like, that just clicked in my brain. I've lost a foot from each thigh. Craziness. I have lost 11 point Two five. That's eleven and a quarter inches from my chest. And um, that's crazy. I realized just the other day that um, my thigh, before I lost any weight, one thigh was bigger, three inches bigger than my waist is now. And um, so my thigh started out at 35 inches. One thigh, 35 inches. And um, now my thighs are each 23 inches, which is still big. But I think a lot of that is skin. There's still fat on there that needs to come off because I still got, you know, I still need to lose at least 29 more pounds. But um, um, loose skin. I have a lot of loose skin on my thighs. It's getting bad. If it stays like this or gets worse, I am not going to be wearing shorts next year. Unless it's just in the privacy of my own home. It's getting bad. It's embarrassing. And um, I've been, I uh, looked up some exercises and I'm going to do them. I've already been doing squats. So, um, but there's a lot, of, there's a, like six exercises that you're supposed to do like every day. And I think I'm going to start doing those. To tone that area up, it says it's for loose, to tone up loose skin, which I don't know how you could tone up loose skin. But everybody says, you know, I've lost weight so fast that, you know, my skin has to have time to catch up. So maybe that's true. I hope it's true because this is bad. I don't know what they're doing in there. But anyway, um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, surgery. Um, I don't think I want to have surgery to remove the loose skin from my legs. Even though I kind of would like to. But people say it's really painful. Like that's one of the most painful ones, I think, people say. And another thing is, is expensive, you know, uh, I think my insurance would cover it, but only if I'm having some sort of a health problem related to it, like I think maybe rashes or something, like if you have a lot of rashes, um, but 
I don't know how I would get a rash on my thighs because of loose skin. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't have any problems with that. But, um, I don't know. So, I probably won't be having that removed. Even though it's a nice thought. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I should just embrace it. I look like a Sharpe. I guess I should just embrace it, huh? Anyway, that is really all I have to say. <laughs> we'll end on that note. Um, because I'm eating the same. Still only able to eat about an ounce and a half. Maybe a little tiny bit more, but usually not. Um, still exercising the same four miles a day. About four or five times a week but the last week or so I have not been exercising at all so I need to get started in that again it's just laziness really um but nothing has changed other than what I've already mentioned so um I guess I will see you next week I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers because I've got several lately and I appreciate it. And thank you all for all the nice comments that you always leave on my videos. I really appreciate it. I will try to make a video next week. And if I do, I'll see you then. Bye.